Sacred Heart Convent Senior Secondary School, Channel Cartium in Kerala. Do you like maths? I like maths because it's my favorite subject. But some people thought that maths is a very difficult subject. So in this video, I am going to show that how can we make maths an easy subject and how can we learn maths with fun. So in this video, I am going to show that how to find the square of any number which ends with 5. So let us move to the video. So let us take the first number as 25. So let us find 25 square. We know that 25 square is 25 into 25. So if any number which ends with 5, then its square's last two digit must be 25. So let us put 25 in the answer. So 2. The, uh, the number after 2 is 3. So we want to multiply 3 into 2. That is 6. So the final answer of 25 square is 625. So this is the answer of 25 square. So let us take the second number as 45. So let us find 45 square. We know that 45 square is 45 into 45. So, in last, we said that if any number which ends with 5, then its square's last two digit must be 25. So, let us put 25. Then, the number after 4 is 5. So, we want to multiply 5 into 4, that is 20. So, the final answer is 2025. So, the square of 45 square is 2025. So, let us take the third number as 85. Then the number after 8 is 9. So we want to multiply 9 into 8. 9 eights are 72. So the final answer is 7225. So 85 squares answer is 7225. Next we can take one three digit number that is 125. So, let us find the square of 125. We know that 125 square is 125 into 125. As usual, since the last digit is 5, so we want to write 25. Then the number after 12 is 13. Then we want to multiply 13 into 12. So there is a simple way that how can we find the product of 13 and 12. That is, we know that 13 minus 3 is 10. Then 12 minus 2 that is 10. Then we want to multiply 3 into 2. That is 6. Then we want to add 13 plus 2, that is 15. Then 12 plus 3, that is 15. Then 156 is the product of 13 and 12. So we can write here 156. So the final answer is 15,625. 
So, I hope that this would be helpful to you. So, if you practice these types of questions regularly, you will make that maths with it is an easy subject and you can learn maths with fun. So, thank you all.